Hey, welcome to my channel guys. Uh, I just wanted to show you in this channel, in this uh, video, sorry, about the bouncing ball because it is the absolute fundamental when it comes to animation. And I'm just gonna show a simple exercise on how to do the bouncing ball. And in the future videos, I'll be showing how we can relate that. We're starting to animate characters and how that relates to characters, how it relates to the hips, the arms, the feet, so slowly, slowly, we'll start introducing that. But first of all, I'll just create a sphere here. <coughs> Excuse me. And all I'm doing, I'm just gonna set some keyframes. I'll just move myself here so I can get. So I'll just move the sphere up here. Press S, I'm just gonna add a key. And what we'll do, we'll put it on 10 frames just to make it just an example. And what I'll do, I'll just middle click the mouse button bring it to 10 and key it, press S. Make sure you're active in here to press S. And then in the middle, I'll just move it up. So we should just have a bounce here. Right, okay. What I'll do now is I'll just 20, stretch that out. <coughs> stretch, bring this out here. So it's a bit more, you can read it a bit more. There you go. So we've got a basic ball up and down. Now what I'm going to do is, there's not really much bounce in that. It's just going up and down. It's kind of floating at the bottom. Now if we go into the graph editor, we know that we translate it in Y. So if we select that, this is what's representing the ball up and down. Now what you can do is, in Maya, you can, to start creating the bounce, you can just move the tangents up like this to create more of an impact. So if you look now, there's a bit more of an impact there and the other thing you can do is so that's a basic bouncing ball basically there you've got a ball bouncing there and what you can do is you can go to curves non weighted sorry weighted and then you see these tangents they will start you you have more control over them now another thing you can do is when you select them all again then, then you just do independent, you break it, use this option here. What that does is it breaks it individually, so you've got a bit more control. Some people like using them, some people don't. I use them, I think they're really helpful. So what you can do here now, you can put really control the trajectory of the ball. So you can start moving and playing around, and then you can start to see that. And then you might even want more hang time, so you could move this out more. So it's in the air more. So you can really start playing around, not the timing, but the spacing. The other thing is because it, let me just put this at zero. So at least then it'd be an equal bounce. I'll we'll just put that back. And i put this back here. So it's more equal, yeah? So you can see now the spacing is more equal. Now, if you play this, you can see there's a bit more of a bounce, of a hang time in the air. And you know, depending on, if the ball is heavy, then there's gonna be less hang time, right? And then you can play around with that. Like this, you can just play around with the curves. And if the, if the ball's gonna be light, then it's gonna have more hang time, right? In the air, because there's no, not much weight on it there. So, and then you can just push it up higher if you want. So all, all with this, we're just using this with one axis and we'll use, we're just finding out how to control with just the spacing in between here and here. This is the spacing that we're controlling. So we're not letting the computer do the animation in between, we're controlling that. And yeah, that's just the basic uh, bouncing ball that I wanted to share with you. And I will be doing a character and showing you how that relates to the character. So we'll do a simple animation on a character and how the hips and everything relate to the bouncing ball. Okay, so I hope I hope you found this video useful. Uh, you can check out my course uh, in the description below, Maya Fundamentals, the absolute fundamentals of animation in Maya. Uh, you can get it for free on Skillshare if you click the link at the bottom. First thousand people that click on it get it for free. And uh, you can even like check it out for free and then unsubscribe from Skillshare. It's a free, you could get a free course basically. You can also go on Udemy as well. And, uh, but they have like half prices, but go ahead, click on the link, 
check out the course if you like it if you don't you can always get a refund but i'm pretty sure you will like the course it's a complete fundamental in maya and in animation so uh let's click on the link don't forget click on the link uh, first link below and you can get it for free as well but i'll see you in the next video and uh, keep animating and happy animating